So today we're going to be making a low carb spaghetti bolognese and this is also vegan because it's summer and we're desperate to lose all the weight that we haven't been able to lose in the past year. Everything we already had except for the spaghetti squash which is well, one of our main ingredients I want to say and instead of meat today we're going to use some celery, some carrots and uh, we're going to use tofu as the meat factor combined with mushrooms. Out of all the, veg the vegetables, mushrooms are the ones with the meatiest texture. So let's see if a combination of both works out or if it's a disaster. I'm going to heat up this oven to 450 degrees. My oven takes a while to heat up, so I'm just gonna let it be. Oh, no, yes, oh, no. Just like make a whole bunch of holes here. Yeah, there you go. So, you see? Canalizing your anger in the right places is the key to never go to jail. I'm going to put this inside of the microwave like five minutes. Basically, we we'll just soften it off so you can cut it in half and you don't have to break your knife. So there's one thing that I learned about celery and whenever you're about to cut it, just like try to break it in half and kind of like debane it because this thing is very fibrous and it can be very annoying to eat in your meal. So just like take this thing off. It helps a lot. lot. Take your tofu brick and then just cut them moderately large pieces, doesn't really matter because you're gonna crumble them up like your childhood dreams. Alright, uh, a more obvious alternative will be texturized vegetable protein which is basically soy meat it has the exact same taste texture as ground beef something that's seasoned or something that's not seasoned for the one that's seasoned just because it's larger uh, and definitely I'm going to choose the one that has garlic and herbs because I thought I had garlic and apparently I do not have garlic there's that. Ah! I do have garlic. Alright, so we're going to pour a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I guess you could use any kind of oil, but this is just what I prefer. Put the onions in there. I'm gonna let them be for about a minute or two until they start to turn translucent. We're going to throw in the celery and the carrot. We're gonna lower the heat. I'm gonna say to medium low. Just like to give the mushrooms a rough chop, nothing like too precise, just like a rough chop. So that everything blends in just as meat would. Well, I don't know, that's what in my head is going to happen, but I guess we'll see the final result. It's been about two minutes, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms. Just mix it together. And this is going to stay in the stove for like 40 minutes. So just make sure it's not too dry because it will consume some of the liquid. You 
pressed. It's way too hard. It's Your spaghetti yeah, squash is way too hard. <laughs> you need to cut it. How cool would it be if I had a sword right now? Like Arya's needle sword. She cuts it like a wonder. What's inside of here? Like all these fibers, things. I just have to remove them. You just start to making the noodles, or like defibering it. And you see how easy it is? And just like that, you have your spaghetti squash. Okay, so the moment has arrived. We're going to taste our meat-free bolognese. Pretty low carbohydrate content as well. Um, let's see if it delivers the flavors that we are looking for. Or if it's edible. All the time. So heavy. My it, um, the best thing about it, it doesn't taste heavy. Um, it's very flavorful from the sauces that she put in here. Um, nothing in here is just nothing in here really just stands out and and has its own characteristics. Everything blends together very well. So everything is pretty good, you know. I, I say it's a really good recipe. It would be something I'll definitely, you know, eat again. Besides the point that she's my girlfriend, you know, <laughs> and I'll have to. It's really good. Good. Here goes. 